Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. This is your uh, November bonus reading. We are going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this imagine card and this observe card. I mean, literally saying observe your imagination, right? <laughs> and so I think that it's an amazing time for Pisces to dream big and it that will continue for the next few years. So I would say that uh, any dream that you have, I would like, you know, multiply it by a thousand and see what happens here, Pisces. But uh, in your current general energies, you start with the Five of Swords here. I'll show you in just a minute. And the Five of Swords can represent like a separation or walking away from something. Or you could be, I kind of feel like you're walking away from multiple things. And uh, what you're walking away from is actually probably that Ten of Wands. So I kind of see this as a good thing for you here, Pisces, because um, the Ten of Wands is your crossing energy. And I'm obviously doing a Celtic cross today. Uh, but the crossing energy in a Celtic cross can be what hurts you or helps you in the reading. And, you know, the Five of Swords is like learning how to walk away from something, the winner. Uh, this guy here, he, you know, he has won at all cost, but he has learned how to kind of like walk away from battle. And so I feel like you're no longer wanting to struggle, which I mean, who who does want to struggle? But, you know, again, I think this 10 of wands as your crossing energy is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, even in the area of your future feelings, you have the star card, which is, you know, amazing and definitely is not a struggle. So I think that you've been struggling for too long and, you know, in, in all areas of your life. And, you know, I feel the 10 of wands is kind of like you being in the home stretch, you know, maybe that's what this reading is saying. Um, you know, I kind of get that feeling. He is in the home stretch. He is about to reach his home in the background there, and he's about to release his burden. So, you know, personally, I read the Ten of Wands as a good card because, like, yes, he's burdened, but he planted those wands. Those wands are all part of his harvest. He wanted to grow these wands, and he wanted to get the results from his labor. And so I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're in the home stretch here and about to, um, you know, get what you deserve or kind of get your rewards for your hard work with the Ten of Wands. I do feel like there's something popping into my head here, Pisces, just looking at at all the cards that are laying out here that you need to like make time for something. Uh, you know, it could be anything. It could be, you know, you have the Ace of Cups here, so it could be you needing to make time for love, but you could also need to make time for yourself with the star or, um, you know, need to make time to have fun or do something else. And, you know, there's definitely something popping into my head uh, with this Ten of Wands of you saying, like, I'll, I'll do these things when I finish. But, you know, I kind of feel the universe is encouraging you to do those things that you feel are missing in your life, like right now. And don't, you know, don't wait until you finish or whatever you want to do. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is definitely the Wounded Warrior. Uh, you know, he is the card of needing to make sure that you don't give up on something as well. He's the card of perseverance and continuing uh, to evolve. Uh, he is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. And it is an amazing time for experimentation. You know, especially after the 19th, when Pluto officially enters into Aquarius, I'm telling you right now, the people who are going to be successful over the next 20 years or so with uh, Pluto and Aquarius are going to be the people who, you know, really play with life, you know, who experiment, who try new things. Uh, you know, if they don't, if something doesn't work in their life, they just try something else. And, you know, that's why I've been talking about this for like three years on this channel is because I've been trying to get everybody prepared for what's about to come. And I would say that the Nine of Wands is all about you know, throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. I also do feel like some of you are not giving up on something. It's almost like you're pushing through something. I always say that, you know, Pisces is like the little engine that could. And, you know, I feel a lot of you are kind of pushing through the obstacles. Uh, next, in the area of your foundation, you have the Judgment card. You also have the Judgment card on the bottom of your uh, clarifying deck here, which is interesting. But, you know, the Judgment card is about waking up to your purpose. I do feel like you feel very guided. Again, this is a very good card for the foundation position. The foundation is like the foundation of the reading. It's where you're coming from. It's the energy you have as you enter into the reading as well. And so I feel for a lot of you that you are kind of coming from a strong foundation of understanding what your purpose is or what your calling is, because we even go go up to the Ace of Cups to the star here. And the Ace of Cups is your heart. The Queen of Cups is your heart. And the star is your North Star. It is that one thing that you set out to accomplish, that like one big goal. It's that big goal, wish, or dream that you're trying to accomplish. So I feel a lot of you are feeling called uh, to a new direction with the Judgment card. Uh, with the Judgment card, we have to let go of our old life and step into the new life. And I would definitely make sure that you're letting go of old things. 
Uh, next in the area of the past, you have this butterfly card that says transformation is beautiful. You have this moth spirit that says surrender now. So the past position in the Celtic cross is the position that you are moving past, the energy you're moving past. I feel like you are kind of looking at all the things that you've learned, all the things that you've been through in your life, and you're looking at all the lessons and all the just stuff <laughs> that you have been dealing with. And you know, I feel like you're starting to see the beauty and the change or the transformation. I also feel like you're not, I feel like the Surrender Now card is saying that you're not forcing things to happen anymore. And so I think that you are, you know, I'm a big believer in walking through open doors, right? In all areas of your life. Like if the door is open, walk through it, right? Especially with opportunities, love, right? I think people get in trouble in love because they're walking into a closed door, you know, a person who is not open or a person who's not, you know, looking for anything. And so I feel this is saying that you've learned those lessons and you're not like forcing things to tr to happen or forcing things to need to happen, which is good. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords again, forcing things to happen. You know, he's being too hasty. He's moving too quickly, the Knight of Swords. And again, you are moving past this energy, which is great. So he's like forcing this horse to run. You can see that this horse that he's on looks kind of stressed out. And so I feel that what you're moving past is just like the energy of you know, trying to force things to happen, trying to make things happen. And really, I don't really get much more more on this card. That's pretty much all I'm getting. Uh, next, in the area of the near future, you have this illuminate card and this commit card. I feel like you need to commit to your heart, like what your heart is telling you to do, you know, especially because you have the Ace of Cups here as well, and you have the Star and the Queen of Cups in this reading. So I feel like you need to like commit to a passion. Some of you, I feel, uh, you know, could be revisiting an old passion or something from like maybe even like 15 years ago that you had a desire to create. Like, you know, the time that we're entering into, especially today, I'm doing like I'm doing this video on November 1st, right? So it'll be out on the 2nd. And I would say like right at the beginning, the first few weeks here of November, you could be thinking a lot about like even back to like 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, like those years. And, you know, I think that you could be thinking about the things that you were doing at that time or you know there could be there just could be thoughts pop bubbling up from that time and it could be about anything that you were working on during that time and I see that like a lot of you could be you know doing anything like I, I get a million things popping into my head for you during that time uh, you could be you know healing karma or like you know moving past karma whatever you want to call it uh, you maybe you had business ideas back then um, but you know the, the things you know what I would look at here is like why you know why couldn't you do do what you're about to do back then, right? And I would overcome those kind of, you know, blockages because I think that, you know, a lot of Pisces, especially in Scorpio season here, that you could be thinking about things that you wanted to do when, you know, back like 15 years ago. And, you, but you could be also thinking about the limitations or you could be remembering the limitations that you had during that time. And, you know, that's pretty much what I, I get here is like, you could be getting some answers with this Illuminate card. But now, like, I feel it's time for you to commit to whatever you are going to do during that time. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups, which is your heart, like I said. So I feel for a lot of you that following your heart would be a really good idea. The Ace of Cups is anything that causes your cup to overflow. You know, the Ace of Cups is ultimate flow. It doesn't have to struggle to fill itself back up. It can easily reach down into the water below it and fill itself back up. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, this is about you needing to like fill your cups or fill a cup and, you know, make sure that you continue to create that flow in your life with the Ace of Cups. And that's what I would do here. Uh, I don't really get too much love in this reading, although I do feel there could be love coming in for some of you. Uh, next, in the outcome row, you have this let go of the past. We said that already. It says it's time to envision a new story. Are you kidding? <laughs> that is literally what I just said. Again, I think what is going to come up for you uh, during this time, especially in the beginning of November, but really, you know, for the rest of the year, but you're probably mostly going to feel it right now, is, you know, the reasons you didn't do something or you didn't have something, and now you could be correcting it. Again, this is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And it could be anything. It's like maybe you haven't had love uh, for like 20 years. You know, I talked to someone last night. I was uh, doing a live readings with Scott Cruz on his channel, and someone was telling us that they haven't had love for like 20 years. <laughs> and now they're thinking about entering into a connection, like they want to have love now. So again, I think, you know, literally could be anything that you're thinking about, but I think you have to change the story. Uh, you have this card that says it's time to celebrate. Yes, cultivate an air of celebration today. Yes, just start celebrating now. You know, start um, acting as if you already have the thing that you're trying to accomplish. And I feel like that will be the best thing for you. Uh, you have the four pentacles. 
This is coming up in the area of the next few months. Uh, I feel pretty good about the Four of Pentacles. You know, it's a good reading in general, but you know, the Four of Pentacles, I feel a lot of you are definitely very focused on your finances right now. It wouldn't surprise me uh, if a lot of you at the end of the year here were like f focusing on, you know, paying off debts, making more money, um, you know, looking for better ways to make money. All that stuff is popping into my head. And I really feel that you'll be working on your financial stability and you will probably be finding financial stability if you look for it, if you put the work in. So, you know, that looks looks pretty good. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Queen of Cups. Again, this is all relationships, not just love. And, you know, the Queen of Cups is a very good card. I feel the Queen of Cups is saying, like, trust your heart in connections. We do have a boundaries card here, the Nine of Wands, which is a card of putting up boundaries. And the Queen of Cups, I feel, is kind of like saying, you know, look at your boundaries with people and look at where your heart told you about the person be, like before you entered into that relationship or before you started, you know, working with that person. You know, it's like, was your heart telling you, what was your heart telling you about the good and the bad, right? Like some of your relationships, obviously, they're positive. What does your heart tell you about that? Some of them have been negative. What did, what did your heart tell you at before you even started it? Like, what was your heart saying? And I think that if you really listen to that, you'll just better be able to navigate your connections in the future. Uh, I also feel this is about you kind of like valuing, valuing yourself more. And, you know, of course, when we value ourselves more, then we attract people, you know, not just love, but all relationships. We attract relationships that uh, really do value us because we are valuing ourselves. And so I think that's what the Queen of Cups is saying. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the star, which is amazing. I kind of get a little bit of an uh, unstoppable vibe here off of the star. Like, I feel like some of you are more focused. You know, the star is all about focusing on this one star right here. And, you know, it's your north star, it's your guiding light and moving towards your guiding light. So I feel like you feel a little bit more motivated to me in the near future. And I also feel that you just feel like you're kind of recovering. You know, this, this is a card of hope, faith, and renewal. So it could literally say that you're feeling very hopeful and more motivated and just feeling better in general with the star card. I also get something here about you seeing the big picture. You know, there's this bird here and the bird is the ibis. It's a bird of knowledge and wisdom and it represents getting a bird's eye view. So I feel for a lot of you, you are getting the, the big picture of your life. You're, you're kind of putting the pieces of the puzzle together and I feel this is making life like a little bit easier. Uh, your outcome card is the Knight of Pentacles. So we're going to have to clarify this, but the Knight of Pentacles is normally no movement, although the Knight of Pentacles can represent progress. And I do, I do, I mean, clearly there's a lot of progress going on in this reading. He's just like a little bit slow. And like, I feel, I kind of feel like this could be a little bit of overthinking energy. And I feel that maybe not to overthinking something <laughs> would be a good idea for you. It's almost like, it's like, it's not bad. I, I don't feel anything bad with this card, but I just feel like you could make something successful faster, you know, especially in work or business or whatever your North, your North star is, whatever your guiding light is. I feel like it's saying if you just walk towards it and don't overthink it, you know, it will probably work out a lot better and faster. So that's what I would focus on uh, with that card. Uh, with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you have the King of Wands. Yeah, needing to be bold and assertive with the Knight of Pentacles at the end there. The King of Wands, he is a visionary, you know. He really kind of has futuristic ideas. And, you know, usually we when we have ideas that are maybe a little bit visionary, we have to be bold and assertive. We really have to, um, you know, work towards those things and make sure that we're able to manifest them. So that's what I would do with the King of Wands is like be bold, be assertive. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, you have the Three of Cups. This is coming up in the area of what's on your mind. And the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. We have that card that says, it is time to celebrate, so, uh, cultivate an air of celebration today. So I feel like you need to get into this ele this energy of ce celebrating your wins and really enjoying them. Uh, these people are celebrating this harvest that they had. You know, I always tell a story, like I, I was like the type of person where I would have a win and I would just be on to the next one. I would just completely blow past it, wouldn't celebrate it or anything, wouldn't enjoy it. And I think one of the best ways to keep on winning is to really celebrate your wins, no matter how big or small they are and like stretch out the amount of time that you're grateful for it. And I kind of feel that's what this is saying, especially showing up in the area of what's on your mind. It's like saying you need to like really expand that energy of victory in your life. And if you do that, you'll hopefully have more victories. Uh, with the judgment, and, and you know, you start with that observe card, which is like observe your wins. 
Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Three of Pentacles. Uh, three of Pentacles is a card of quality work or just doing a good job. And, you know, I also feel this could be some sort of skill that you're being recognized for with the Judgment card because we go from the Judgment up to that Star card. And, you know, again, he's receiving recognition for the work he's done, this guy right here. And so I feel for a lot of you, a lot of you, it, it, you could be discovering your true purpose, you know, quote, unquote, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you could be... Um, finding something that you do very well uh, that could make you more money. So again, I would be using your skills this month for the rest of the month, and you know I think it'll serve you very well. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of like leaving the past in the past. We have you know all, all things from the past. I feel like that other card said, you know, it's time to, what does it say? It's time to envision a new story. And so the, this to me would say that you're seeing the past in general. And I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about just like a person or something like that. I'm talking about everything. I feel like you're seeing the past as the past and you're changing the story, which like I said earlier, is definitely what you should be doing. You should be taking that story from, you know, 2008 to like 2012 and you should be changing it now. Uh, with the uh, Ace of Cups, you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant can represent marriage, of course, but it also represents blessings. He is blessing these two people in front of him here. And so I feel some of you uh, could be receiving blessings from the universe. And, you know, that's really all I get on the Hierophant. I feel like you're just receiving blessings. Uh, you know, the other thing I would say that's popping into my head is like thinking outside the box with the Hierophant. So any outside the box ideas with the Nine of Wands as well would be a good idea. With the Four of Pentacles, you have the Sun, yep, which is great because we have the Sun and the Star. The Sun and the Star is like fame and fortune. So a lot of you, again, could be getting a lot of attention. Uh, the Sun shines a light on what we need to pay attention to. And the Sun is a very good card. So like I said, you could be paying attention more to your finances this, this month. And the Sun would be amazing, of course. It says any any seeds that you plant will grow. And the Knight of Pentacles, he needs to plant seeds and let them grow. And that's exactly what I would do here. With the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Swords here. Mm, it's like there could be a slow person coming in for you here, Pisces, like a person who's taken a long time to approach you or to make their approach here. Um, the King of Swords says that someone in this situation is hard to read, and it doesn't matter what gender you're trying to attract into your life. Uh, you could be attracting an older person or you could be the older person to get out resonates, but it's like someone is hard to read here. And I, like, um, you know, it, it, some, sometimes I don't think that's your fault necessarily. Like if you, if someone that you don't even know is interested in you, and they think you're hard to read. It's like they haven't even made an attempt to talk to you is kind of what I'm getting off of this reading. So it's like, how are you hard to read? They don't even know who you are. <laughs> and I kind of get that feeling. So again, this could be a person and you know, it's, it's a good reading. So I feel like they will probably reveal themselves. Uh, with the star, you have the death card. You have big transformations. I, I think this is more about changing your story as well, letting go of the old story. This guy here looks like the Hierophant or a Pope, and you know he represents traditional belief. And the death card, you know, he's there begging for his life. He's holding on to those old belief systems. So the whole entire reading is saying that you know upgrade your belief system about every single thing in your life. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Swords. Yes, I feel like this kind of gives me the vibes of someone like waking up. And if there is a person that's interested in you, I feel like they will probably all of a sudden rush in. They might like have a realization like you're not going to wait around forever or something like that. It's also funny that we kind of, you know, have the Knight of Swords here and here. Uh, this could also be you uh, getting motivated and realizing that you don't have all day, that you have to kind of get to work in some area of your life. And that's exactly what I would do there. Uh, you have this barrel card. It says, you feel something is lacking. You cannot make this up. It says, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. I literally said this on that 10 of wands. I said, I felt like something is lacking or missing in your life. Like whatever it is, go and get it now. I, I, I literally said that at the beginning of the reading. So there you go. Uh, you have this basket card. It says, recognition, reward for merit, three of pentacles, sun, the star. These are amazing cards for getting attention. Now, of course, as I always say, terror doesn't just magically happen in your life. So if you're not doing anything to get recognized, then you're not going to get recognized. So you have to put your work out into the world or you have to, you know, create something or do something to receive this energy, but it looks like it'll be, you know, really good. Uh, you have this parrot, pa this parrot, sorry, I'm losing my voice. I was, I was uh, doing a live last night. I was talking too much, <laughs> but it says, uh, someone will gossip about you and all your secrets. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have Mars going retrograde at the end of the year. I wouldn't even worry about this. If anyone talks, you know, they're talking about you, it's free attention. So I would get as much free attention as you can, but I would ignore it because Mars retrograde years, if you try to defend yourself uh, during, you know, with someone gossiping about you, you always look guilty, but if you ignore it, you don't. So I would ignore it. 
You have this horseshoe card. It says good luck on it. It definitely could be an increase in your luck. I mean, this is a very lucky reading, Sun and the Star. So I feel that a lot of you could be feeling more lucky. And you also have this card that says, pay attention to your finances. You know, you know you, what I was really getting here as well, Pisces, is that like money looks good. But what I would say is like, if you start making more money, which I think you are, um, it's like saying, don't spend it right away, right? You know, hold on to it a little bit and, you know, kind of build it. And I feel that would be much better you know, much, a much better thing for you to do here, but really good reading Pisces. I really like this. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.